Hello and welcome back to some more Dangan Robert 2, Goodbye Despair. We're in the last episode. We uh, finished up chapter 4, which was really, really good. Which, honestly, surprising after the uh, atrocity that was chapters 2 and 3. Well, okay, chapter, chapter 2 wasn't an abomination. It just had a horrendous trial plot twist. But chapter 3 was just crap from start to finish. So, um, thankfully, chapter 4 brought all back up to, the, to, 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 full, to full strength. And hopefully chapter 5 will maintain that consistency w with quality because I, we really don't want another chapter 2 or chapter 3. So without further ado, let's just keep on going and see what mysteries await us this time. After being released from the funhouse, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. And just like before, our day began with us all gathering at the restaurant. With a significantly reduced amount of people, good god, there's like no one left, y y you know? Every time we meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. The restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now than there were at the beginning. Stupid fool. Uh. Oh my. Huh? Did you hear something? Hey! It's Nekumaru. That was Coach Nekumaru's voice. Uh. What are you talking about? He's no longer... What's up? <sighs> it took two min- It didn't even take two minutes. And he's already pissing me off. What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you know if you keep if you keep grossing me out like that. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not cool. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. More importantly, I'm starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant. Jeez. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Terra Terra was. Uh, are you sure about that? I don't. I just. I don't think. No, no, no. Terra Terra, Terra was not of any value to us whatsoever. The, the, cooking was a. It, his, his lone attribute was being a cook. That's that that's a very expendable trait. I, I, I mean, like, t he's not the only person who's capable of cooking meals. Uh, huh? Important? Oh, right. This is... Uh, oh, 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 good. You, hmm. Kazuichi made a statue that also functions as a clock in a murder mystery game. What could possibly go wrong? Hi. Is that a Nekumaru doll? I'm Minimaru. Oh. Of course. I, I don't even want to know how you possibly emulated his voice. Uh, what, what I don't know what sample you... Okay. I took some parts of him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? Uh-huh. That's that. Yeah, because that's definitely what immediately jumped to my head. Of course, it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? Oh, oh, oh. It's so cute. Thanks, I'll keep it. Huh? I never said anything about giving it away. Don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa, hey now, that's bully's logic. Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. And as long as we have it, we won't forget, you know, about Nekumaru's sacrifice for us. I... I don't think we were planning on forgetting that. Especially, specifically, Akane, I don't think, was planning on forgetting about that anytime soon. We're standing here today because of him. So if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again, I guess we gotta fight too, right? We can't just keep running away. I got him and I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> hey, of course. Um. The fact that Kazuichi is, was able to outlive both Mahiru and Ibuki is the sin of highest caliber that this game has committed. Kazuichi is just terrible, and the fact that um, he's here and Mahiru and Ibuki are not, unacceptable. In the end, Gundam told us never to give up on life, so I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. Gundam, please watch over me. Miss Sonya? Um, Miss Sonya? What did you think of my little pep talk? Oh, my. Oh? Did you say something? Oh. Get toasted by Sonya. Well, I was able not memorizing that speech. It took you all night to memorize. Okay. Okay, buddy. Jeez. And there's the punchline. I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. Oh, boy. This, that. Can't wait to find out how that's going to play into things later. I'm sure that won't have major consequences. I don't know what you're talking about. That's right. Oh, by the way, you can also use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. Of course you can. Of course you would make a doll that does exactly that. Are you, Are you serious? That's amazing! Of course, of course I made it after all. <laughs> Seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akana looks really happy. Hey. Anyway, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him- like, no, 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 that's not a question we need an answer to. He, he can go do his own little thing. So long as we stay here, we stay safe, he can go diddle around on his own for a bit. We don't need to concern ourselves with him. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the friggin' time. But still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the last class trial. Oh, only now you're deciding to worry about it. Well, he's always been a dangerous bastard, but he's crossed the line, you know? Hey, hey. Excuse me, then that's even more reason we should avoid him. Still. But even if we do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? Nagito's sudden change was really weird. 
I don't know why these people are acting like this is the first time he's ever had a change of personality. Like, he's just, that's his whole thing, is being a walking contradiction. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware of? Anyway, hey, Jimmy, isn't it about time you told us what that was all about? Huh? That? You know, what Nagito said during the trial. Hey, bastard. What do you mean by except for Ajime? Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Um, to tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Hope Speak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department, uh -huh. which didn't exist until five seconds ago, but, you know, reserve department? I mean, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all, which is, I guarantee, I guarantee you that that's not true. Apparently I'm just a normal person. I can almost guarantee you. Actually, wait, let me check. Was his was his thing updated in the? I, I really wish that these that their boxes would be grayed out um, on this on the screen uh, when when they when they died because it would it just makes it makes a more clear picture when you you can see you can immediately see which which people are still here anyway. Hajime, uh, yeah, see, like his his, his ultimate thing isn't listed yet, so I I find it extremely hard to believe. That he, that he's um it is it's just a normal person, especially considering the fact that this quote unquote reserve department didn't exist until five minutes ago. It, it just was not a thing that existed in this game. So I'm guessing that we're gonna have to call bullshit on this eventually. Uh. What? Well, that's it, dude. Don't ever scare me like that. It's not something I can just brush off. This is just about me. I I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hope's Academy because I had talent all along, but. My whole life, I just wanted to feel confident about myself, and I thought getting into Hope's Week Academy meant I had finally become someone I could be proud of, not some backup student. That's not okay. It's, it, it, so even okay, first of all, the, this didn't exist. The game didn't even talk about like they, the, they made it a, a clear point in the first game that you only got into Hope's Week Academy by random lottery, which makes no sense in the context of how they were able to recruit Jun Junko and her sister. But even if we put that aside, the, the beginning of this game also said the only way you're getting a Hosby Academy is through random lottery. But even if we put that aside, let, let's assume that it makes perfect sense for this reserve department to exist and w put the world building issues aside. Why would this ever be a thing in the manner in which it is explained? So like, it's explained as a reserve course, which by definition and by explanation in game means it is the backup department. It's like, someone dropped out, Let's pick someone else. Which, first of all, why would you ever like the the concept of a waitlist is you get the, the the top candidates to get into the school, which again isn't even how this f***ing works because it's a lottery. So I don't even. But fine. Let's let's ignore, let's ignore, let's ignore the the school's admissions admissions policy. Let's just assume so the cream of the crop get into random lottery and. Instead of everyone else being put on a waitlist like a normal school, instead, so, like, because basically what they want you to believe is that if someone in the, if someone in the primary group of candidates drops out, that instead of going, instead of going back to the random lottery of the main pool of people that they really want at the school to pick another person, like anybody with a functioning brain would do, excuse me, they jump over to the backup department to pick someone from there? Like, why wouldn't you pick another person from the... I don't... But, okay, that, that's, 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 that's the first thing. Second, second thing is... Why... Okay, so, your primary group of people is people that are chosen by random lottery as supported by the, one of the first lines of dialogue in this goddamn game. And your backup department is a group of people that only... That, that got in by taking an actual entrance exam to test their way into the school. Does nobody see a problem with this system? Is it really just me? Okay, just checking. Right? Cheer up, Jime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Of course. She's right. No matter what, you are our friend. You know, there's a saying in Japan: fear is grateful for the danger. The hell? You're saying that all wrong. <laughs> so everyone was here. What the hell? I mean, so I was I was gonna ask what the hell happened to you, but I'm like, oh wait, Monokuma. Why should I be surprised? It was a real close battle. Oh wait, no, right, because she battles the the freaking the the the, the guardian the the uh, the bridge guardian angels or whatever the robot things. I can't, words are hard. I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me. What? What the heck? You're covered in blood. Ah, you saw me. Yes, that's right. The mono beast this time was very strong. Yeah. 
gross. Don't get close to me. Get out of here. No gratitude. I'm being treated like Phil. Hey, hey. Hey, why don't you clean the blood off? We're trying to eat. <laughs> that... <laughs> That's Chiaki's concern, huh? Okay. Oh, yes, I'm ashamed of myself. Oh. There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last Mono Beast. Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. I see. With a, with a thin reaction, it's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from an all you can eat restaurant. Don't tell me. This again? You're gonna say stuff like it's not like we can get off this island by probably going to the new island? Well, it's true that I don't really expect much. Especially since last time we were promised a f***ing amusement park, but then the game said, actually, no, you're getting, you're getting stuck in a fun house for six hours. But who said we weren't going to go? Obviously, we're going to go, dumbass. Huh? Assuming we were thinking about running away was a mistake, because if we can't run, we'll fight. I'll crush everyone who put us through this crap in one blow. Fight? Seriously? That fierce group is called World Ender for a reason, you know? No, they're called the Future Foundation, and they're the good guys, but, you know, that hasn't been revealed yet, I guess, so whatever. What are you saying? Why, you- did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey. Dumbass, I listened to that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonya. Well, now that you've admitted that in front of everybody. What? Don't brag about that. Settle down. Settle down! You have no reaction to that, really? Okay. If you have the power to fight among yourselves, then direct that power toward our enemy. Now then, let us go forth. Offense is the best defense. Right. You're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. Mm. I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonya talks like that, my blood starts to boil. Alright, All right, I'm getting pumped up. Let's charge our way to that new island. To get up. The Future Foundation, the good guys. Monokuma, Manomi, I'll crush them. When Manomi? What, is, what did Manomi do to us? Yes. Even me? <laughs> you guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know? Mm. You're the best character in this game. You're right. To then I gotta do my best too. I'm, I'm waiting for them to drop the bombshell. That she's the should she's an AI unless <laughs> unless this is some elaborate scheme because like um the whole reason I know in case you missed the episode the whole reason I know that she's an AI is because I I I, I baited for Gefgo forty five into admitting that she was in, admitting she's an AI Th this could be a, 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 a elaborate deception where she she bought into me tricking her to make me think she's an AI only for it to be revealed that she's not. I don't know why she would do that, but it's, like, I mean, I don't know, it just, I'm just waiting for them, for them to drop that on us. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it to happen. It'll, it's coming soon, I can imagine, but it's, it's gonna be a painful conversation when it does. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different from, than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island. But the clouds of my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. And that filled me with a strange and comfortable feeling like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I try not to think about it. I'm just... Like, I guess part of the reason why I don't believe the fact that they're... That, that he's his... Uh, his ultimate ability is non-existent is because the 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 the, the idea the concept of the reserve department is so fundamentally broken in almost every way that I just I, I refuse to believe that even these writers would have possibly come up with it so there's that I suppose I try to say focus on moving forward chapter five smile at hope in the name of despair I I really don't know why, how, how they come up with these freaking chapter names, but whatever. Uh, with the Mono Beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. Oh so my good island. lord. Enormous buildings towered everywhere as if the entire island were one gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi, so the island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. Oh, what the hell is this? What? Welcome to Metropolis Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. What is going on? What is this? What is this? Vendor Street. Oh, Factory. Joy. Oh, Military Base. Oh, that's fun. Seeking Industries. Okay, okay. I... Oh, boy. Okay. This, I guess, we'll just start here and work our way to the right. This, this, this looks like a real, real fun place to be. Oh, oh my god. Oh, good lord. Oh my good lord. Okay. Wow, that was, um, bad. Wow, I did- that was- That wasn't even poppin' textures. That was just, like, that, that was just the graphics having a seizure, apparently. Also, is that- Is that just Monokuma here, or is this a Monokuma doll? No. 
Okay, they're not they're not usually mobile. That's kind of weird. Oh, and if you're wondering where, because we had 310 coins at the end of the last episode, I, I spent them all to get to get presents in, in anticipation for free time events, and I learned some things about free time events that I'm not really happy about. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, well, let's just focus on. Uh, I I don't really want to talk to you. I'll, I'll come back if I have to, but I don't. The, this, yeah, there's nothing of interest here. Okay, let's let's just head out. And go to somewhere else. I'm guessing the factory will probably have more interesting things. So let's check out the factory. What do I? I don't. I, I don't even. Oh, plushy factory. Oh, 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 good. Oh, so this is. Oh, hello, Chucky. You're very small in the in this in this uh in this uh environment right now. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? Gee, maybe the fact that it said factory would indicate that. But if it's got Monokuma's face on, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Good timing. What's up, Chiaki? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, yeah. but since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. And do you want to go inside together? Mm. I'm, surpri I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Okay. Well, can we go inside? I'm, I'm assuming this is I'm assuming this is the door right here. So let's uh, head in. All right, then I'm going inside. Plushy factory inside. Oh, so this is where Monokuma makes all of this. Oh my good lord, what the hell? What the heck is this? What was being manufactured one after the other and being carried away on a conveyor belt was... Monokuma. Because of course it would be. Yup. Would this game be, be mean enough to hide a Monokuma thing in here? Or, or is it just this one because it's sticking out among the rest of them? Okay. Uh, I've been found. The Monokuma thing's been pretty easy to find this time around. Uh, but I guess I should. I guess we can just examine the giant basket anyway. The Monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket one after the other. It better not be real. I picked one up with my hand. I see. So these are plushies. Monokuma plushies. Ah, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. But unlike him, these are probably. Excuse me, actual plushies. <laughs> Hmm, isn't the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies! Cause e everyone thinks to themselves, you know what I really want for Christmas is a life-size Monokuma plushie. Someone's probably made that, I'm just realizing. Someone's probably made a life-size Monokuma plushie and that terrifies me. <laughs> I was planning to hit the big time with these. After I failed as a movie director, now I'm trying to be a, ma a toy manufacturer. That's why I'm making them like crazy! I'm gonna be rich! Uh-huh. But you made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. When it comes life-size plushie, I don't want it. I, I don't blame you. Welcome. To, I guess we stumbled into the toy factory. Apparently. Oh, okay. I'm not even gonna bother questioning how this equipment is turning that into that, and that into that. It's not worth the. It's not worth the brain power required. I'm not even gonna. I mean. Uh, it's cool to watch the machines in motion, I'll give it that much. Um, but I don't... I, it's not... It's not worth the, the brain power. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna quit while we're ahead. It might be better if we start to... Never mind, I guess we have to check this out a little bit more. Okay, so I guess we'll just check out all the manufacturing equipment. The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is crosses and eventually made into this stupid thing. I see. So this place is so this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Don't look down on me. Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? <laughs> There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. Buy my merch. What should we do? Honestly, I really don't feel like going. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? You're right. Then we should go there for just a little while. Leave here. Yes. Okay. Well, then I guess we're going some... There, there was another building to the right in this general courtyard area, so I'm guessing this is the warehouse over to the right-hand side. In that case, I'll just head inside here. And check it out. Goods warehouse. Alright, what more... What other types of merch you got here? T-shirts? Or just a bunch of boxes? Well, I think I peeked into the pile of stacks of cardboard boxes. There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag. Oh! My favorite, because, you know, when I think I need a sandbag, why not get one themed after Monokuma? Oh, and even a Monokuma guitar! First there was the Monokuma archive in the funhouse, now there's a plush factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> Mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can! 
A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. Okay, so this is this is just this is just the Monokuma Island then. This this is just the island where um where where Monokuma gets his. <laughs> boosts his ego even more than it's already boosted. This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them look all BOOM! Then they'd stand out, you know? No store would sell your stuff. Of course not! You're such a fool! That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop! I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world! You know, the world that was apparently destroyed by the tragedy, and which, during which, obviously, people would be dying to spend their money on Monokuma plushies, and sandbags, and guitars, instead of important things that you, that they need to survive, you know, in the post-apocalypse, where we've taken over the world, or whatever, the game refuses to tell me. This game better give me answers about that, I swear to god, if we go another game without getting answers about what the hell happened during the tragedy, I'm gonna lose my mind. Of course the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie, selling at a retail price for one million dollars! Can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these, your business is doomed to fail. Another already, you have no business sense anyway, just stop it! No. Hey, hey, don't say that. Let's do our best together. We'll be as popular as pogs were in the 90s. Oh, if only you knew, if only you knew how popular the word pog was today. Um, don't you remember how long they'll stay popular? Besides, if you say it's about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake, because there's no merch of me! Oh, Manomi, my little sister. Don't you know the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Not a tortoise? A long, long time ago, there were these two old guys. I had two guys living together. The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. I. Okay. Huh? Did you even need the old guys in that story? So even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. A half pink rabbit is so lame. You don't even have one out of some good fashion sense. You're you're treating it like you're the like she's the booster to your Turbo Man. And if you, by the way, if you get that reference, major points to you. Uh, I don't, I don't, I doubt people will, but if you do, let me know in the comments. I, much, much respect if you, if you understand that reference. Um, but, like, it's not, would the Monokuma doll be more popular? Sure, but, like, it's not, Monomi, I guarantee you will have won over the hearts of many people in this game, so I don't, you would, it's not, the irony by being, by the way, that if I went, I, I guarantee you that there's plenty of merchandise for this. You know what? I want, let me check, actually. I wonder what kind of merchandise exists for this game. I'm curious now. As expected, you can get a, <laughs> you can get a Monokuma plush doll. You can get a, a Danganronpa hoodie themed after Monokuma. You can get a shower curtain. Oh, yeah, that's, because that's what I want hanging in my bathroom, is a Danganronpa shower curtain. That's actually adorable. You can buy Chiaki's little little backpack that's actually kind of adorable all right so not uh, honestly i expected that i expected a lot a lot worse i thought i thought it'd be like i i honestly thought they might be go to this extent like you got you got monokuma you got Mon monokuma pillowcases monokuma tissues monokuma freaking i don't know bandage you get bandages monokuma gatorade monokuma toilet paper especially profitable during this day and age I expected like a whole onslaught of dang and romp merchandise, but honestly, this this is this this seems pretty normal. This isn't the shower curtain's a bit weird. That's a, a, a little bit weird, but uh, other than that, it, this is this, this is this is this is normal. Okay, let's get back to actually playing the game now, shall we? Um, you did this to me. You're the one who has no fashion sense. Well, honestly, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. So whoever wants to de decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Come on, what are you waiting for? How'd you mean? Let's run. You're right. Good idea. Get the hell away from Monokuma as fast as you possibly can. Ran out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a fun little adventure. I suppose. It's, it's like you just got tired. Yeah, you're right. Okay, lovely little chat. Uh, let's go. Where would you like to go? Uh, outside would be where I want to go. Typically, if you hit the back button, it means you want to, you know, leave, not go to one of the places inside the factory. But let's check out the military base. Let me guess, Akana is going to be here. I can almost guarantee you Akana is going to be here. Am I, am I right? Yep, that's about what I expected. Hmm, that thing over there. Is that a tank? Is that, is it real? And not just that, there's a lot of other stuff here that looks really- I was about to say, like, that's the one thing that caught your attention about this place, really? 
That's that. That's the one thing. That's all you got. Oh my good lord! What it? What the hell have we got ourselves into in this game? Okay. Oh, hey there. I see you up there, Monokuma. Hey, they're not uh not as well hidden in this in this chapter as they were in the last the last few. Which I guess that makes that makes my life easier. But you know, okay. Also, what in the world is back there? It's a military truck. I mean, I saw the truck, but I, I was wondering what was what was in the in the cargo box of the truck. Firearms, there's a ton of them. There's a lot of different weapons like guns and anti-tank rockets carelessly stacked in here. Is it really our right to handle these carelessly? Alright, so there's that. Um, I mean, I guess we can just talk. Let's, let's, let's start talking to people, because I don't think we're going to learn anything from investigating around. It's supposed to be a military base. Oh, you don't say. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, this military technology here seems rather extensive. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. They're your friends. Useful. There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank no problemo. No problemo. A course in modern warfare is a, is a required class in all our grade schools. An obsession with anime and now this. Sonic's country never ceases to baffle me. However, weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. If no one uses them, they're nothing more than scrap metal. You're... I... I... The, 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 the definition of the word weapon is not on your side here. Weapon is... Let me check real quick. Weapon is defined as a thing designed or used for inflicting bodily harm or physical damage. So... The design is what's in question here, not the use itself. It's still, it's still like if, if you, if you, if you, if there's a rocket launcher lying on the ground, and you go, "This is not a weapon. It is a hunk of metal." I'm like, "No, no, that that's a weapon. That was designed to inflict damage upon people." And it's like, "No, it's not a weapon. It's a scrap of metal. No, it is designed. Was designed. This thing is designed to be used to hurt people. What are you talking about?" It's like it's, it's like it's like if someone says it's like if someone watches um, it chapter two or chapter one whatever it, someone watches a horror movie and they go this is not a horror movie I wasn't scared and you're like it buddy it doesn't matter if you weren't scared or not it's still designed to be a horror movie they, by that by that abhorrent logic if you watch something like uh, I don't know what's a classic uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off if you watch something like Ferris Bueller's Day Off and then you go. I didn't, this is not a comedy, I didn't laugh. I'm like, do you know what genres are? Are you aware of what, that, that, that'd, be, that'd be as pretentious as me playing this game and being, this is not a mystery, because, I, because there wasn't anything I had to actually figure out. I already knew everything ahead of time. It's like, could you imagine if I said that? Like, imagine how deluded I would be if I actually said that out loud. Like, it doesn't, you, you are irrelevant to the equation here when, you, when we're talking about genre. It doesn't matter whether you what what reaction you got out of it. It's still it still falls under that category. If whether or not you laugh at a comedy, it's still a comedy. Whether or not you skip a horror movie, it's still a horror movie. Whether or not someone uses a weapon, it is still a goddamn weapon, Sonya. Um. Well, I have discovered a puzzle document in the tank operator seat. That's the Future Foundation's. Oh, sorry, that's the Future Foundation's insignia. Jabberwock Island Development and Plan. What is this? And I seem it to belong to Monokuma, and was placed rather ostentatiously. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what does it say? Beyond what was written in here, I do not know much. But it does it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at considerable length. What is that plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control, and prepare it as essential headquarters. Oh, how convenient. Almost like the Future Foundation put us here to keep us safe so that we, they could release us into the world and save the day from whatever the hell destroyed the world in the first game. Almost like that's what they're going for here. A central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in this? In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that, man that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was unha uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time. If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items in the supermarket are always stocked, and the hotel is still really clean. Yeah, almost like it's a it's a simulation that and everything's computer generated or something like that. Could the future foundations could that could could that the that the this sentence is very well worded. Could that the future foundations I think you mean to say could that be the future foundations responsibility? But more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? I cannot discern that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. However, there is one more thing that, that caught my attention. There's more. Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Yes. It was written there that the Central Island houses a large administrative building. However, we however we could not find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? 
But according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters... Could it be that same building? They are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters, or so it is written. What the heck, it's so inconsistent. How do you re how do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Welcome to the world of Danganronpa. Damn, what the hell is going on? We were distracted- we were so distracted by all of the horrible situations that kept happening one after the other, we might have overlooked a more pressing issue. And that is the mystery of the silent. But what's really go what's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense, no matter how much you think about it, there's no reason behind it. Welcome to a majority of this game's mysteries. Okay, uh, I can't wait to get answers about all this stuff. I'm sure- I'm sure it'll be a thrill a minute when we- when the answers start coming out, but for now, what's left? Seeking industries. Let's find out what this industry is seeking. Ah, get it? Because seeking, seeking, seek, it's funny, it's, it's, it's funny joke. Laugh, please. Okay. Well, seeking industries. Oh, good lord. Oh my god, what is this? What the? Oh, of course we find Katharichi here. So this would be where they build the mono beasts. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Hmm. Seeking industries. Huh? They were a company that specialized in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on, on Jabberwock Island. And this, excuse me, place has, looks like a racist facility. For a mid-sized company, it's a pretty, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh, I guess so. I only read about them in the pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. So this company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so what the heck is, what does, what the heck are they making here? Um, based on the, what we can see in the background, I'm gonna go with Mono Beast. He's right, it looks like, it's like they're making something more dangerous. Seems like it might be a good idea to throw, thoroughly investigate this place. Then th thoroughly investigate it, we shall. Is there, is there anything else that I can s Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see you there. I see you there. Alright, that one, that one was a bit, that one was a bit serious? more well hidden. That was, that was much better. That, that actually blended into the background a little bit. That was, a, that was a bit harder to find. Okay. Um, I guess now we should probably actually examine the... First things first, obviously the, the giant robot they're building down here is a... Of top priority. This machine is making another machine. The finished product looks like it's a modeled after a four-legged animal. Hey, what what else have we seen on this island that resembles that? Oh yeah, the mono beasts. Hey, doesn't that doesn't the animal thing remind you of anything? Are you talking about the mono beasts? Is there any chance that those mono beasts were created here? The mono beasts were created here. Yep, that's what this place is for. Yeah, big mystery that was. No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? That's why it's just fine. What the hell did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. Doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. That. Okay. I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Yes, because it's such a massively blooded to go from making machine parts to making slightly larger machines. Wow, golly gee whiz, what an insane leap in logic we've just made there. Does this mean Monokuma took over the place and modified it to do this? Damn it, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I, I, okay. Um, what else can we check? I mean, I guess we can check this, this over here. This other machine looks like it's making something. Is this a mannequin? Maybe. It's a humanoid machine, is that a robot? Serious? Seriously, how can they make robots? <laughs> hey, just how far does technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekumara was made here? It's similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to the kind of technology? I don't know why you keep thinking this is a major leap in logic. All right, what else can we? What else have we yet to examine? Uh, that appears to be it. So I guess we'll just talk to you. You have anything interesting to say, Kazuichi? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Why? Why? Because you just start laughing all of a sudden. Well, obviously, what else are we going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Well, there's a computer over there, so I started stooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his stories to his buddy. It was such a horrible delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read the game he goosebumps. Delusional story? So what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. And these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously, that's not realistic at all. Caused by high school students, huh? You mean, like, maybe the the fact that everyone in this game is a high school student, and they're, you know, rioting because the Hopespeak Academy is doing things and the world's falling apart? Uh, hmm, I wonder, I wonder if that has anything to do with anything. Yeah. So these, so these riots just keep growing as people more, grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society. Until eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Mm. Finally the riots have start, start getting circulated and a strange incident start occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? I know, right? Sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. 
Whoever wrote this needs to come up with a better story idea because it wasn't realistic at all. You wanna... Th really, this game wants to tell me about realism. So this game wants to tell me that the idea of people rioting for a cause they believe in and in turn leading to something to change around the world is a less realistic premise than the bullshit this game tries to pull. Are you sure about that? Are you really sure about that game? I mean, students causing right on that scale is totally impossible. Really? Are you sure about that? Are you really sure about that? <laughs> but I learned about you less. I should always delete embarrassing emails. No, you should never delete emails. That's a... Oh my god. Can you... Get, hey, can we just, like, chuck you into the machine and let, and let the robots do the rest? Hey, about that. Are you sure it's okay to say that's just a made-up story? <laughs> of course. I mean, I'm going to things might happen in real life from time to time, but... There's no way this is real. It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. You're right. It's just a lot of unimaginable things that have kept us kept adding to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. Oh, boy. Well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? Well, it's clear. This used to be Seeking Industries, but it's not anymore. After this island became uninhabited, Mona Koopa took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. That's the reason. It's not so weird. The whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us, but why? Maybe there's a bl bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. They were the same- they're the ones who were making us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other. Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean, it's not true that our fates are in the hands of those rich, perverted bastards. Sounds like something that will happen in a work of fiction. Yay. You know, my favorite is when characters in a game say, That would never happen. This is real life. This isn't a fictional story where crazy things happen. It's like, game, do you have any self-awareness? But the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. Okay, I'm done with this conversation. Let, let's go. I'm, we're, we're done. Okay. So I'm guessing we, we have to actually talk to everybody. Yeah, yeah, oh, hi there, buddy. Hi, Hajime. I was looking for you. What's up for you, Hiko? I was thinking you've probably finished exploring this island by now. Yeah, the, the, the game's code told me that the player has investigated everything, so now it's time to move on with the story. You're right. I think I've explored everything. Uh, I've explored everywhere at least once for now. Right. Then you want me to meet up with everyone to discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this, but there's a street nearby line with food vendors, so I'll tell, I told everyone to meet Later. there. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know if you go left the area, you actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make the others wait. I should hurry over the street with. Uh, you know, I'll say this. Fuyuhiko was an asshole in the beginning of the game, but he's kind of grown on me a little bit. I didn't think he would, but he's... he's grown on me. It doesn't make chapter 2 any better, it's still shit, but he's... His character has been handled a lot better in these last couple chapters than it was in the beginning of the game. Anyway, now let's... Let's, uh, let's, let's have a chat with people. Okay. Uh, see, it happened again. The, 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 the graphics keep freaking the hell out. Alright, looks like everyone's here. Huh? What about Nagito? We- no, no one cares. Who cares? Not like he's our friend or anything. Right. Spoken like you are our friend, uh, Kazuichi. I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's no. doing. So how did it go? Did you learn anything about the future foundation? Mm. Not really. Like, I feel I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. Words of wisdom with Kazuichi. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However, however, I, however, I believe there is no question that the future foundation is behind everything that's been going on. Are we sure about that? Huh? huh? What are you saying? That they're, if they're not their enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they trap us on this island. Uh, yeah. uh, no, I, it's the reverse. They they trapped you on this island because they're your ally, and they need you to be alive to fight the to, to fight the freaking whatever. I that's the thing. I still don't know what we're fighting. Been like, <sighs> if I, I, the game is trying to make it seem like they're gonna revive Junko Inoshima, so I don't even don't even get me started on the implications of that garbage. But assuming they're successful in doing that. Then I don't even like what the what do you do what what is one so is she's like let's say she's supposed to be the I mean because she wasn't she was in the school at the time that us all having so she's not the reason why the world fell apart the, someone else is behind everything that happened and the the cause of everything and just I I don't know what we're fighting for like what is the what is the core conflict like, like Monokuma is like the the mascot of the. The embodiment of the, the despair and the school, whatever. But he's not the he's not he's not going around like actually destroying the world. There's there's something else going on that we don't know about. That's true, but it's something I've been thinking about. Mon Monomi works at the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. But even though Monokuma's wasn't to kill each other, Monomi has been opposing him. <sighs> Fuyuhiko is the, is the only one, one member of this group with the brain capacity to figure that out. Apparently, you mean pretending to oppose him, right? No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. Then let's. It's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? 
Even if they both oppose one another, is it not possible they are both our enemy? Like the three-way battle. That's kind of hot. Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? I- no, 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 I, I backed them up from the first second we found out about them. Are you talking like that because you're actually the traitor that's working for them? Don't be your- don't be an idiot. No, wait, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't- Kazuchi, Soda, shut up! Yes! All it takes is Sonya to say one word and he just snaps up. There was never a traitor. Monica come lied to us. The- So- like, that's the thing. Chiaki being the AI is obviously going to be the, the person the game wants to think wants you to think is the traitor. Because she's the one who was placed by the Future Foundation. But because she was placed by the Future Foundation, that doesn't make her the traitor. That makes her just the person who's working for us. So, the traitor doesn't mean the same thing that it meant in the first game. Lied? Huh? Is it, it is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up. So, well, you're right about the false entity part. How can you not believe in your friends after everything we've endured together? I, I don't know, maybe the fact that 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 four of your friends have, have, have been confirmed killers at this point, maybe it has something to do with that. And, oh no, it's Nagito. Oh, great. Oh, great! My favorite! And after 40 minutes of a blissful peace has come to an end when he decided to stroll through the gates. Awesome, dude. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. That weakness is hopeless. Nagito, and just like that, my mood is drained about 5 million percent. Let's hear what you have to say. Nagito, where have you been this whole time? I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys keep running around in circles. Where are- what are you, hamsters? Oops, if I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by that weakling who dropped out? What is that? You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess it was wrong. <laughs> Or maybe that person's hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us? Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? It's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Huh? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Bakuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? Huh? Oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. What stage? You're not making sense at all. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Bakuya... A survivor of the killing school, I've died in vain like you did at the- Oh my fucking god, are you going- Don't even- mm, Don't even try to tell me. So now the game wants to tell me that apparently, Bakilia survived. In spite of the fact that we held an entire class trial proving his killer to be guilty. Which means that if that's true, Teru Teru didn't kill anyone! Oh my god, what are we doing now? Oh, I can't wait to find out where this goes. Oh, and also, that just means Rikui is still alive, which means we have to deal with him more. Just, 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 just stupid. Right? Oh, great. What does that mean? Yes, she was not what he means. It, please look back what you said about Bakuya dying in vain. Yeah, listen to Sonya. Well? You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito we have been witness to. I don't like you either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. You and me both, buddy. Looks like I'm being hated. Well, it's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. I don't... You. That's not an excuse to treat... Like, yes, I'm, I'm aware that he's... That he has... Like, he's contracted, uh, he, he lives, I think he has frontal temporal dementia and lymphoma, and it's terrible and tragic and horrible that you have to live with those diseases. I'm not, don't, don't misconstrue my words. It is her it's horrible that Nagito has to live like that, but that does not give you a free pass to treat other people like shit and be a walking contradiction constantly. The truth? What truth, are, what do you know? Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. But it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. Oh, we got the traitor even if it cost me my life. Oh no. God damn it. Okay, prediction. Nagito is gonna be the one to die this chapter. He's going to do something that's going to uh, bait the traitor into killing him. Uh, which means that Chiaki is going to be the, the killer this time, and this is going to be the last chapter we see her in. Well, then we better make it count. Please wait. As I have already said, there is no traitor. Yeah, I bet in the end you're just going to raise your hand and go, I'm acting the traitor, right? <laughs> ah, you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. 
Why don't, why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I become the ultimate hope? No. Ultimate hope? What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then, I should get going, but if you see him on a come again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him, tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> tell him not to worry, because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Probably because he knows the simulation and all that. Nagito, what does that Bye mean? Now. Bye! And now that you've intrigued the artificial intelligence with a, with a penchant for gaining knowledge and learning information, now you've baited her into a, into a trap. Nagito ignored Chaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be hey, useless. Hey. I don't want to think about it, but could he be planning a kill? I think he's planning to be killed. A kill? Who's he gonna kill? Based on how he was talking about his target as a traitor. There is no such person. I mean, the, motion, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along. I will never ever believe that. Like Sony said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of, any of us could do that. What if it's Nagito? Or what if it's whoever has... What if whoever it has... Wh whatever, what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? It's like how I forget that I don't have a talent. Uh. Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance he's planning to kill, right? And we gotta tie him up again! Forcing him to stop is the only way! Oh. It's impossible, Nakumaru's not even here anymore. Meaning... what? That... Did I miss- did I miss a line? Hold on, wait a minute, I need to- I need to read that again. We gotta time up again, forcing him to stop is the only way. It's impossible, Nekumaru's not even here anymore. H how do you- those two- what the- These- these two statements don't- how- what? Chiaki, how the hell have you linked these two things together? How have you linked- we- how have you linked- we need to stop- we need to tie him up with we can't do that because Nekumaru isn't here. Those two things don't correlate at all. The fact that Nekumaru isn't here is irrelevant. We, it would not be hard to tie him up. Like, we, d we outnumber him. We can easily tie him up and make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Hey, I've got whatever it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. Then that's yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Cosby's is right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. Excuse me, but what is the indiscern indiscernible, sorry, indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration on this final island and return to the hotel. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. All right, well, let's just head back to our room. I'm assuming we need to turn in for the night, so we will do just that. Okay, we have returned, and wow, wow, we've almost collected every single Monokuma doll. In one, wow, that's impressive, okay. For some reason, I mean, they weren't really all that well hidden, but still. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although, I'm not really certain if you can even call these clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more of mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as, nightmare, as soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking about all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for today, rest my mind for a while. And then I'll give this some more thought tomorrow. And now it's time for Monokuma Theater! What insanity will be unleashed upon us today? Words are extremely dangerous. Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with erasers or with a, or with a backspace. That's why you need to be extra, extremely careful. I, do you, I don't... I, I'm, I'm going to assume that you mean spoken words, because you realize that words are comprised of letters, right? So if you can delete letters, you can delete words. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right. When I was being trained in the safari park, at that time, there were two animals in the park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named D uh, Senior Dietrich, and the other was a fox named Chacha Junior. To be honest, Chacha Junior was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he would just stare at her... The, had her breasts the whole time. That's why Senior Dietrich would order him to steal. Okay, and oh my God, what the what? Oh boy. Okay. The three of us went to a steakhouse, and the waiter asked, "How would you like it cooked?" Cha Cha Junior proudly said, "With fire." Senior Dietrich was pretty crafty, and he knew how to play Cha Cha Junior. He made Cha Cha Junior abduct the fun and drown it, and then save the. What? What? Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living a fun life in a safari park. That's right, until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Cha Cha Jr. Foxes are squirrels' natural enemies. The next day, I stumbled across what was left of Deatrice Sr. He had even he had been eaten. 
Good thing I immediately tailed tail to a male employee so he could put down Chai Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now, I regret saying what I said back then. Jeez, squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. Who who wrote who wrote this? Who writes these? Did 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 Teru Teru write that one? Is he responsible for this? Ahem. Yeah yeah. Good morning. It's morning time. It's another beautiful day. Pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. For now, we should head over to the restaurant. Then to the restaurant we shall go. And then we'll reconvene and hopefully have some kind of a plan moving forward. Let's have a chat and see what awaits us. Oh boy, okay. To the restaurant we go. Let's see what's coming up next. I have a really sinking feeling in my stomach that Nagisa is going to be the one to die, which is totally fine. But that Shiaki is going to be the one to kill him, and it's going to be her. It's going to be her finest hour. Yo, Ojime. No, check it out. I'm already eating. Yeah. As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, we might get locked in a place at the funhouse again, so I gotta eat while I can. Kazuichi programmed him to say that. For now. Okay, now is that we finish our breakfast. Let's jump right into the main topic. Hey, I'm still eating here. I just got here. I just got here. I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. It's okay. I'm pretty much done eating. You selfish little... I mean, you can still eat while you talk. No, right? uh, and of course, the main topic is about our plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. Be. Are you really going to do it? Of course. There's not like coming up with this plan. <laughs> it means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my effort should count for something? Hey, you, it, it, it takes you all nights to... Okay. We get it, I even spelled that plan of yours already. Well, I thought of several plans, but in the end, I figured that a straightforward plan would be the best. Uh, One else will be the decoy who lures Nagito into the lobby by telling him we need to talk to him there. And then, at the best possible moment, the two task force members will move in and swiftly capture Nagito. Right. So that's the plan. It, it, it took you all night to come up with that plan. It took you all, at least eight hours to come up with that ingenious plan. It's easy to understand, so I'm cool with it. Anyway, are there any bananas left? So now I will present each of you with your role. Since it's my plan, I'll take the role of commander. Since my intelligence is obviously completely uncomparable to the rest of yours, I won't let anyone object to that. Hey. But commander sounds like the most fun. Hey, didn't I just say I won't let anyone object? Next, I'll present the two task force members. These big roles go to you two for Yiku and Akane. Yep, sure thing. <sighs> Got no choice. And the person burdened with the core of this plan, the decoy who has to lure Nagito, I'll give that role to Chiaki Nanami. Because of course you would! Why would anyone else be given that role? Why, of course, it has to be the one person who who would actually be the freaking... Of course. Of course, no dude. Way. Huh? No way. What did you say? I mean, it's like I ever agreed to this plan. Hey. It's gonna be fine. It's not like you're gonna tie him up. You're just gonna lure him. No. Yeah, you're just gonna be the bait... You know, you're gonna you're gonna be the person who, who he immediately assumes is the traitor and therefore are in, immediate, are in the most immediate danger of being killed by him. No big deal. Besides, there's no way I'd ask Miss Sonya to take on such a dangerous role, you know? So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey. <sighs> Let me read that sentence again to make sure. Yeah. Okay, so within two sentences he said, It's not like you're gonna tie him up, you're just gonna lure him. And then immediately say, It's a really dangerous role. So basically, just... Oh, Kazuichi, you're the worst. What a rude way to ask for help. If my hero were here, she would have beaten you up. I think anybody would have beaten you up if given the opportunity to. I mean, you did say earlier that you definitely can't accept killing. Isn't that right? I need your help to stop into the killing. And didn't I just say I'm begging you? Why are you stopping her all of a sudden? Fine. You're gonna do it? Alright, then this lineup is perfect. Th th there are other people. Why, why, why doesn't Hajime just volunteer? Hey, Sonya and I haven't been given roles. What should we do? Sonya has the role of princess. That doesn't make any s what? And you're on chore today. I want you to supply the rope. We need to tie up the. You need you need someone to be dedicated to that role. But that's not a role. That's a task. Any of you idiots can do that. Th that's like being on a soccer team. And then and then you have like you you, you have your you have your your forwards, your midfielders, your defenders, your goalkeeper. And then you have one person on the team who is ball retriever. This person on the team gets the balls out of the gets the soccer balls out of the out of the out of the out of the, out of the supplies and then brings them to the to the soccer field. And every time the ball goes out of bounds, he's he or she's the person who goes to run to get the ball. That's that that, that is that is insane. That, that, you don't need someone to you don't need an entire person dedicated to this insanely simple task of just getting the goddamn rope. That's not hard. You don't need that, that, that. That's a waste of a person's use. In this case, what are you doing? Denied. What? Why? 
If I do need something to do anyway, you shall accompany me. No, I, like I said, I need to supply the rope. You must not. This is not a request. This is an order. An order, an order I tell you. This is some, there is some more I must go. Uh. Uh. Fine, if a Jimmy and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. Good, repeat that. If a Jimmy and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. To object so forcefully, where do you need to go, Sonia? I shall tell you in due time. We'll, we will be discovered if I speak too loudly. You You're going to be alone with a Jimmy at a secret place? Oh my god, will you shut up and grow up already? Two people being alone together does not inherently... Okay, two... Mm. Two people being alone together does not inherently mean that they that they are going to engage in a romantic intercourse. That is not just just because your brain works like that doesn't mean the rest of our brains work like that, Kazuichi. We'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you, make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Is our commander going to be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. Until the spirits for now. Now then, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Yeah, sure thing. So walk me through what um. Walk me through what Kazuichi thinks being the role of the princess is in this master plan. What was his plan? Was his plan to just have Sonya sit on the silence and do nothing? Because I don't... I just... Why? Who put him in charge? After our planning meeting and ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I made it back to my college, it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Sonya. Okay. Seems like a bit of an excessive time, but it's alright. I'm still missing... I hope I didn't miss anything on that island. Because we're still... There's still one Monokuma thing that we're missing somewhere. Um, hopefully it'll turn up eventually. Uh, okay, well now I guess it's time to head back to the hotel. I mean, I don't know that... And you, we probably could have cut this out. You probably could have just teleported me to the lobby. Because, like, you... Basically what happened here is I, I, I walked out of the... I, I woke up, walked out of my uh, my room to go to the uh, to the restaurant. Then I was teleported back to my room. And now I have to re-walk back here just to go into the hotel lobby. Seems like a bit of, a, bit of an unnecessary step, but... Whatever. Anyway... Hello there, Sonya. How you doing? Hajime, you are late. Huh? I'm right on time. Wait, should I have come a little earlier? A little earlier? In my country, you are severely punished if you do not arrive 30 minutes before an arranged meeting time. For such an orderly country, 30 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule. Oh, I see. This is culture shock. Then I guess that that can be overlooked. So where are you planning to go? I just have to come along, right? Of course. It is a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. Excuse me. Jabwalk Island Development Plan? Did you find out something about it? Excuse me, how should I say this? After reading this document over and over again, I suddenly realized the Future Foundation was planning to rebuild the facility on this island that uses their headquarters. You're talking about a large administrative building on the Central Island, right? But I could have I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about a different island. Let me guess, we're gonna go to the we're gonna go the we're, we're gonna go to the ancient ruins that we found on the second island in the second chapter. That we that there's just the 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 somehow desecrated remains of Hope Peak Academy. Or what if their plans only changed and they had to use a different facility? A different facility? Was there not a facility on this island inscribed with a symbol of the future foundation? Yep, that's exactly where we're going. Yeah, you're right. The Japanese word for future, Mirai, was inscribed there. If that's the case, the ruin might be connected to the future foundation, right? However, the discrepancies in the document are strange, but there is no doubt that the ruin is quite suspicious. You're right. I completely forgot about it before. I, I completely forgot about it being locked inside the funhouse, but the possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to the future foundation is incredibly high. I knew there was something strange about that place. Sonya, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. Then I may not be competent, but I specifically you, you are you are fully competent. Don't say that. Just just because Kazuichi constantly belittles everybody doesn't mean you're doesn't mean you're incompetent. Would you like to go? Go outside because we are going to the ancient ruins on a quest to solve the mystery. Or something like that. Okay. Map. Let's just... Let's, we'll, we'll just warp our way up. See? See, like, they're crossed out here. All the names are... All, all the faces are crossed out here, but on the... And the, uh, the screen itself, like, the... The report card screen there, they're not crossed out. It's weird. Alright. To the central island. And is it... Yep. It's right here. Here we go. Okay. I, I'll be... Very interested to see if we can actually yield any useful results by, by going here. No matter how many times I see this place, it certainly gives me the willies. I mean, you've only seen it twice, but... Well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we are ha we are here to look for clues. That's right. There's no doubt we'll find something here. All right, let's start. Where do you... What? I mean, says the only thing of note here is the door itself, so we can just go check the door. I... This... It's just... It's just... I mean, this... Just, you want to try to get in with the panel, maybe? The liquid crystal display next to the door. That's probably, that's probably it. This is probably the key. The door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. Please wait. We have discussed this before as well, but it would be dangerous to test it haphazardly. Well? If we make a mistake, it is possible that we will be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason for that gun to be there. 
As long as it's possible, it'd be bad if we act recklessly. That's right, courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were shot up by a gun like that, you would have more holes in you than a Beatrice's nest. You mean a bee's nest? In my country, we use the expression Beatrice's nest. Anyway, right now, we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. In order to open this door, we must find the password first. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. That's impossible, the door looks extremely sturdy. It's definitely better if we find the password instead. Alright, all we have to do is next is find out what the password is. Yeah, no big deal, just find a password. Like, finding a needle in a haystack is no big deal. It's a good thing we came here so we could at least find that out. You are right. But the problem is, where would we obtain that password? Where, when we first came here, we even Monokuma and Monomi said they didn't know the password. If they really don't know it, then how are we supposed to find out? It's usually it's a mystery, huh? Are we going to have to find Bakuya and then Bakuya is going to have to tell us what the password is? After, because apparently he's still alive, which is... Ugh. After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruin, Sonya and I decided to go back to our colleges for now. Okay. It's still the middle of the day, looks like I have some free time. Now, now, what should I do? Oh, now it's time for me to talk about why free time is pissing me off. Okay, so you didn't see this because, for some reason, the game didn't, like, so because because the, the footage was lost for uh, for the second half of the island life for the last chapter, I, I couldn't, I, I can re, I can, I was able to replay through everything to get the footage I needed, but I couldn't replay the free time events because once you do it once, you can't replay the free time events. So I couldn't re-get that footage, unfortunately. But basically, what we did is we spent time uh, with Akane and Sonya, and we also we, we we tried one event with Gundam, and then I wanted to commit the big die because he was terrible. So we just focused our attention on Akane and, and Sonya afterwards. And there we are. There is only one more we need to do for her, and two more for Akane. And I admittedly, I actually I actually looked ahead to see how many free time events we had left. And I found that there were there's only two more free time events left, and I'm guessing we're gonna get both of them right now. So my goal is to try to get it so that by the end of chapter four we had Akane down to one and Sonya down to one, so they'll be able to finish out both their free time events and get their final hope fragments and get get all three of them with the gold hope fragments completed, um, or the hope crystals or whatever, whatever the whatever the completed thing is by the end of by the end of the game. The problem with that is that I tried to spend time with Akane. And the game just didn't let me. Now, I assume this is because she was dying of starvation and she just didn't want to spend time with me at all. Um, and my reasoning for this is because when you talk to her, she said, if you have something if you have something for me to eat, then I'll happily talk, but otherwise, no. So I thought it's just, okay, so the game's trying to reinforce, it's trying to connect gameplay to story by telling you, these characters are starving, they won't spend time with you, move on. So then I said, okay, well, I still want to try to get her, get her down to one more free time event before the end of the video. Um, so... We'll see how, or before, uh, yeah, before the end of the, uh, yeah, before the end of the video. So, I'll just, uh, between chapters, I'll go back, I'll, I'll quickly replay the first part, the first chapter, until I get to the first free time event section, and then I'll spend time with Akane. Here's the problem with that. Apparently, you can't spend time with Akane at all when you are going for her hope fragment in chapters 1 through 4. Oh! You think I'm kidding? You think I'm memeing? No, I'm not. I, I, I legit looked this up because no matter where I try to spend time with Akane, the game just did not let me, which is funny because I know for a fact that I spent time with Akane in an early chapter of the game and it did not restrict me, but this time it did. So, I looked it up as like, is Akane's free time events bugged or something? No, they're not. I, I, I looked it up. You want to know what, and you know what, you want to know what it is? Let me read this straight to you from the Danganronpa fandom wiki. <clears throat> Due to plot reasons, you cannot spend the fourth free time event, fifth hope fragment, with Akane in all of chapters one and four. However, you could spend the first to third and last free time event with her, second to fourth, sixth hope fragments in all chapters, including chapters one and four. You can still spend the fourth free time event, but if you completed the first three, do it in another chapter. And to make matters even worse, over on Sonya's side of things, due to plot reasons, you can't, because you may have been thinking to yourself, okay, so then no big deal, just spend, just spend time with Sonya in chapter 4 to finish hers out, and then we'll do both of a kind's next time. Here's the problem with that, I checked Sonya, and Sonya said, due to plot reasons, you cannot spend the last free time event, 6th hope fragment, in all of chapter 4. Because this game hates me. So for as much as I would have liked to get Akane's final actually you know what mm, i think i'm more, i think i'm more interested in seeing both of akane's get, getting to the end of her thing than i am in 
her because Sonny has been very crazy with hers recently. So I think I'm I think I'm just gonna commit both free time events to Arcana to make sure we can get her ending because you may be thinking to yourself, oh it's no big deal. Just go just go exit out, replay one of the other chapters, get a free time event, and come back here and do them both. And here's the problem with that. The problem with that is you can't if you save in the middle like if I, if I so if I exit this and I go replay, I lose my progress in this chapter, which means that I then have to replay everything I just played to to get back to this point, which is not something I'm really am eager to do. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to get all of Akane's free time. Sorry, we're not gonna be able to get Sonya's free to final free time event, but I am gonna get both of Akane's. I can assure you that much. Anyway, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned next time to catch you all tomorrow for some more Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. Goodbye.